Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a huge pattern change that will be impacting the United States this week bringing tons of rainfall to a large chunk of the United States in addition to this we'll be seeing a widespread cool down across a large chunk of the country we'll also be discussing Hurricane Lee in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll first begin with the Central Plains and look at the mess that's happening right now across areas in the Great Plains. We have a lot of showers and storms out there. There's actually been a little bit of severe weather that has been firing up in parts of western Kansas. Really the only bad news that we have right now in the United States would be that severe weather. We've already seen upwards of tennis ball sized hail today in parts of Kansas. So there are some very significant storms out there. But there will be a lot more showers and storms to come over the next several days as an active weather pattern begins to ramp up here across parts of the central and southern plains. Back over in the northeast we have some other sporadic showers, maybe a couple storms as well in southeast New England, and as well as across a large chunk of New England where it's just seeing rainfall. So really nice rainfall up there, keeping the temperatures a bit cooler as well. And really not a whole lot of dry areas here across the United States today. The only section that's really dry would be from the Gulf Coast back through parts of the Ohio Valley, which honestly, if you're looking for dry weather, good news. It's warm. It's a nice day for a barbecue, but otherwise it is obviously not really looking good if you're in a sort of a drought situation, which some people in parts of the northern Ohio Valley are still in that sort of drought right now. Now the jet stream is playing a huge part in our weather pattern here across the United States so let's explore that a little bit more and we're going to begin with today again we don't have a whole lot of stuff happening here in the upper levels right now. We have a low pressure system that will be dropping though out of Canada over the next few days which will bring great news to the United States. This will actually bring a massive cool down to the country. In addition to this we'll see a lot more rainfall to those that desperately need it especially in the southern plains. Once we go through Monday to Tuesday, notice that troughing feature really start to appear here on the jet stream. Those are strengthening upper level winds, southwesterly flow here on the eastern side. This will allow again for a cool down coming out of Canada, basically northerly winds carrying tons of cold air. Feels like a bit of a, like an early fall sort of feel for a large chunk of the country. Once we go into Wednesday and Thursday, that trough will start to move into the northeast where we will see some showers, maybe some storms. This will also help to carry out uh, Lee to be able to go off to the north. So that'll actually help to kind of keep it probably out to sea, but there's still some variation that this actually could go toward New England. Again, we have a lot of time between now and then, but that's something we'll be watching out for pretty closely. Once we go into Friday and a Saturday, we'll still be watching some surface-based features in the Southern Plains that will bring chances of rain, but nothing in the upper levels that's going to be very definitive, which means we're probably not going to be looking at any crazy severe weather outbreaks. And we are in September. We usually don't see any crazy severe weather outbreaks in September. If we do, they're usually pretty rare. Once we go into Monday and Tuesday of the next week, so the following week, things do become more uncertain, but it does look like this cooler air will kind of stay here for a little while, at least through this week. In terms of the temperatures here across the United States, blues represent your below average temperatures. Look at this by Tuesday. These dark blue areas that you're seeing is where the coolest of the weather will be from average temperatures. So notice back down in the Texas Panhandle and as well as New Mexico, that's where the coldest patch of air will be also in the upper Midwest in the Great Lakes. By Thursday into Friday, more cold air starts to usher in for those in the Great Plains and as well as back into the Northeast. And eventually by the weekend into early next week, that cold air really not leaving anytime soon if you're in the southern plains but some warmer air will start to return back into parts of the midwest and the northern plains but still below average temperatures look likely all the way through tuesday of next week for the southern plains that's something we've not been able to say by the way for the last few months if you're in the southern plains especially in texas now, as I mentioned before, there's going to be a ton of rain over the next several days for a large chunk of the United States, and the best chance will be in the Great Plains. So notice as we go into Monday and Tuesday, look at this active weather pattern. It's actually going to stretch all the way through the Ohio Valley, but once we go late Tuesday into Wednesday, we're going to continue to see heavy rainfall back down the southern plains, and this will promote the threat for two, three, four inches of rain in some areas that have not seen really any rain at all this summer, so great news if you're in the southern plains. Notice that huge uptick in activity as well in the northeast United States. No, this is not Hurricane Lee. This is actually just some showers and storms coming from a low pressure system up there, and that will allow for some showers, storms, maybe even a little bit of severe weather. Once we go into Thursday, more heavy rain continues across the southern plains. It will not be all day, every day rain, but there will be at least on and off showers and storms. Into Friday and as well as into Saturday, notice we'll start to see that uh, Hurricane Lee going up the coast. Again, where this makes landfall is really to be determined, but this likely will be going toward Nova Scotia. Still a low chance it goes towards New England, but elsewhere on the East Coast, it's unlikely to go anywhere near like the Carolinas or as well as Florida. So no direct landfall expected there. And then as we go into the following week, so around the 18th and 19th of September, 
this area of showers and storms will finally move out of the southern plains which i say finally with the utmost regret because i know you guys need rain a lot especially if you're in texas but there will likely be a break from that as we go into next week as high pressure and as well as drier air start to return in terms of rainfall totals the highest rainfall is expected in the northeast and as well as the southern plains that red area that you're seeing is two to three inches of forecasted rainfall it very well could be higher or lower it's going to vary a little bit in that yellow shaded area we could actually see some rainfall totals as high as six to even eight inches of rain so definitely make sure you're watching out for that very closely there might even be some minor flooding in some areas and the weather prediction center has issued some forecasts here for the next several days in terms of temperatures and as well as precipitation and as of right now the temperatures are expected to stay below average for a large chunk of the united states from the southern plains back through the east coast in the ohio valley and the time frame for this will be from saturday through next wednesday so this is from the 16th until the 20th which is obviously a pretty long time frame but notice there will definitely be that chance over the next five days so this work week we'll likely see below average temperatures in those areas and below average precipitations expected all the way from texas into parts of the ohio valley and as well as the midwest and northern plains for the 16th and 20th time frame but again we will see some rainfall definitely in parts of the southern plains like eastern oklahoma and as well as eastern texas all the way through this work week so there will be rain but this is after that so now let's talk more about hurricane lee again there's been a lot of hype about this storm cannot stress it enough again we are still over five days out from this even being remotely close to the united states so please no reason to panic no reason to fear about this right now there's way too much hype this is not going toward florida and it's also probably not going to go toward the carolinas but as of right now the national hurricane center has released their latest advisory this actually did over the weekend weaken from a category five to a category two hurricane but it is back to a category three and it is expected to go back to a category four by either tomorrow or even back toward tuesday so we'll be watching for this to intensify a little bit as it moves off to the west again this is staying north of puerto rico this will start to take a north turn as we go closer to wednesday this is expected to go north it is not expected to go toward florida it is also not expected to go toward the north carolina area but as we go closer to thursday and to friday notice how large this cone of uncertainty gets there's still a lot of uncertainty of where this will go could it go toward new england could this go toward nova scotia or could this go out to sea which would obviously be the best case scenario all of those options are in play but if you're hearing people hyping this up about going toward florida or mississippi or wherever else that's over there to the west it's not going to happen it's just really almost impossible for this to even go toward florida at this point we would need to see a substantial timing difference i'm not saying it's a zero percent chance but it's 0.01 percent that's basically where we're at right now in terms of a florida impact this is what hurricane lee looks like right now again pretty defined eye while developing again we are seeing a lot of convection this afternoon and evening there is an eye that is forming again we didn't really have an eye for the last 24 to 48 hours so it's a new change and all the spaghetti models here these are all the various computer models bring this toward different areas there's only one computer model right now that brings it toward new jersey there's a dozen or so that are going toward like maine and maybe the east coast here of like massachusetts for example but the majority are still bringing this right now toward nova scotia really none of them are bringing it out to sea particularly but there might be like an isolated chance that happens so again we'll keep you posted with the latest no hype here on hurricane lee as it continues to move to the west and eventually to the north thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already